Welcome, fellow enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the science of adding sugars to cannabis plants. From molasses and corn syrup to honey, we'll explore how these sugars can boost microbial activity, enhance nutrient uptake, and ultimately lead to healthier, more productive plants. But before we begin, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Also, please remember that this is an educational video and therefore all information provided is for informational purposes only. Let's dive into the sweet details. The practice of adding sugars to cannabis plants is a relatively recent development within the broader context of horticulture. In recent years, scientific research has begun to validate the benefits of adding sugars to improve cannabis plant growth. Studies have shown that sugars can enhance microbial activity, improve nutrient availability, and even influence plant metabolism. For instance, studies have demonstrated that adding sugars can increase the population of beneficial bacteria and fungi in the soil. These microbes play a crucial role in breaking down organic matter, releasing nutrients, and protecting plants from pathogens. By providing a food source for these microbes, sugars help create a healthier and more dynamic soil ecosystem. Now that we have a little background about the symbiotic relationship between sugars and cannabis plants, let's jump into understanding the roles. Different types of sugars play in promoting plant growth, bud aroma, and cannabis leaf development. Molasses, corn syrup, and honey are three commonly used sugars during the cultivation process. Each of these has unique properties and benefits that can contribute to the overall health and productivity of cannabis plants. Let's take a closer look at each one. Molasses is a byproduct of the sugar refining process. It is rich in carbohydrates and contains essential minerals for the plant such as calcium, magnesium, and potassium. When added to the soil or nutrient solution, molasses acts as a food source for beneficial microorganisms. These microbes, in turn, help break down organic matter, making nutrients more accessible to the plants. Using molasses can improve soil structure and fertility, fostering a more robust root system. The increased microbial activity enhances nutrient availability, promoting healthier and more vigorous growth. Additionally, molasses contributes to the plant's energy reserves, potentially leading to larger and more resinous buds. When introducing molasses to the growing process, the cultivator will mix one to two tablespoons per gallon of water and apply it during the flowering stage, typically once a week. It's important that they are using unsulfured molasses, as sulfur can harm beneficial microbes. The grower will then flush the plants with plain water towards the end of the flowering stage to avoid any potential residue affecting the taste of the final product. As we've seen, molasses can significantly enhance soil structure, microbial activity, and overall plant health, leading to more robust growth and resinous buds. Now, let's shift our focus to another sugar option that offers its own unique benefits, corn syrup. Derived from cornstarch, corn syrup contains glucose, which provides an immediate energy source for plants and soil microbes. While not as nutritionally rich as molasses, corn syrup can still offer benefits, particularly by enhancing the plant's carbohydrate levels during critical growth phases. Adding corn syrup to the plant's feeding regimen can help increase their energy levels, which in turn will support more robust growth and development. This can be especially beneficial during the flowering stage when the plant's energy demands are at their peak. The glucose in corn syrup can also stimulate microbial activity, promoting a healthier rhizosphere. The rhizosphere is a critical component of cannabis plant health, serving as the interface between the roots and the surrounding soil environment. By understanding the dynamics of the rhizosphere and implementing practices to enhance it, cannabis cultivators can improve nutrient uptake, boost plant growth, and achieve higher yields. To use corn syrup on their cannabis plants, growers will dissolve one to two tablespoons per gallon of water and apply it once a week during the flowering stage. As with molasses, they will ensure to flush the plants towards the end of the flowering period to maintain the quality of the final product. Let's now explore another natural sweetener that offers a range of benefits and is also known as the natural healer for cannabis plants. Honey is a natural sweetener produced by bees and is packed with sugars, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Its antimicrobial properties can help protect plants from pathogens, while its rich nutrient profile can support overall plant health. 
Honey is particularly beneficial when used in the cloning and seedling stages as it can promote root development and protect against fungal infections. When using honey, it's important to use pure organic honey without any additives or preservatives. To promote rooting in clones, dip the cut ends of the clones into a honey solution before planting. For seedlings, add a small amount of honey to the water used for germination or early watering. To add honey into the growing process, cultivators will use one teaspoon of honey per gallon of water. This can be applied once a week during the early stages of growth. Honey can also be used in conjunction with other sugars like molasses or corn syrup to provide a balanced nutrient profile throughout the plant's life cycle. Some growers combine different sugars in order to maximize their benefits. While each of these sugars can provide significant benefits on their own, combining them can create a more balanced and effective feeding regimen. By using a mixture of molasses, corn syrup, and honey, growers can leverage the unique properties of each to support different aspects of plant health and growth. For example, using molasses to enhance soil fertility and microbial activity, corn syrup to boost energy levels during the flowering stage, and honey to promote healthy root development in seedlings and clones. By rotating or combining these sugars, growers can create a comprehensive feeding schedule that supports your plants from germination to harvest. When combining sugars, it's important to monitor the overall carbohydrate levels to avoid overfeeding. Excessive sugars can lead to microbial imbalances or nutrient lockout. A balanced approach is key ensuring that you provide enough to support plant health without overwhelming the system. This concludes our educational video on the effects of sugar on cannabis plants. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content for all cannabis enthusiasts. We would also love to hear from you. Leave a comment below with any questions you have or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Your feedback is important to us and helps us create content that meets your interests. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay curious.